I'm Salim, the CEO of WadiV, and today we're happy to announce that by the end of this year, WadiV will increase its fleet size to 180 trucks. This isn't just orders, this isn't talk, this is actual trucks in delivery, making WadiV the largest electric truck fleet operator in the US. Hi, I'm Jay Chugat, Senior Editor of Clean Trucking. I am at the 2024 ACT Expo in Las Vegas, and my guest today is... Salim Yusuf Sada, and I'm the CEO of Wad EV, and happy to be here with you guys. Could you explain to the audience what exactly is Wad EV, for those who don't know? Sure, so Wad EV was founded in August 2020 with the mm -hmm. goal of electrifying the transportation industry and making it as easy as possible for that transition to happen. And along the way, we sort of became a full solution provider, mm -hmm. not only providing infrastructure, but also providing the hardware as well as truck as a service to make it as easy as possible for both shippers and carriers to electrify. As you know, owner-operators make up a huge portion of the industry, but they're the ones that can't afford an expensive truck or can't afford to build out infrastructure. So we created WadiV Transport and the truck as a service solution around that. So what are some of the problems that trucking as a service can hopefully resolve? Sure, yeah, so an owner-operator is oftentimes a smaller carrier that can't mm -hmm. afford to buy a half a million dollar truck or can't sure. afford to put infrastructure into the ground. And most of the times they'll buy a secondhand diesel truck that mm -hmm. you know costs significantly less than a brand new electric truck. Sure. And the challenge that they're faced is how do I electrify my fleet, especially if I'm being forced to, or how do I transition? And that's where WadiV's truck as a service solution comes into play. Um, we've tested, again, the capabilities of the trucks, we've tested the lanes, we've built the relationships with the shippers, mm -hmm. so we know which ones make money. And we can now go to the owner operators and say, hey, Here's a truck as a service. It's all inclusive of the vehicle, the maintenance, damage insurance, and the charging, all at a fixed price per month. If you need help with the, the routes as well, we can help you with that as well because we have the relationships with the shippers. So it allows them to now go into zero emissions transport without any of the issues, without any of the upfront costs on infrastructure that we've tested, on relationships that we've built over time. And I understand you just opened up a brand new site a couple weeks ago. Tell yeah, me about that. multiple sites actually. Yeah. So. To date we've got four sites operational covering the greater LA basin. We've got a site in Port of Long Beach that took 14 months to get online. We have another site that opened this year in San Bernardino, another in Gardena, and our flagship site in Bakersfield, which you can see a model of here today. So that brings our total capacity of infrastructure to 20 megawatts. So That's Bakersfield right. is, is the largest site that we have operational. It's 115 acres that was designed to test a lot of new technologies, meaning that you're going to come across issues with utilities. It may take longer to get a site operational because power may not be available and utilities may also not be able to give you the power that you need. And that's where Bakersfield comes into play. It's 115 acres again, where 100 acres is designed to be a solar field. I and mean, it was modeled after a traditional truck stop being able to fuel about 25, 200 trucks per day, which equates to about 25 megawatts of needed capacity. Now we didn't want to just put that in the ground from day one because we want the demand to pick up naturally and we don't want to just have charges sitting there. So we built up the site in multiple phases. The first phase of the site, has five megawatts of solar, three megawatt hours of battery storage, and it powers 15 240 kilowatt CCS dispensers and three MCS dispensers. Now, WADIV is another first in this category. WADIV is the first to deploy MCS capable chargers in the US. And this is the MCS charger in front of me. This is what's deployed at all of our sites. So today we've got four sites operational, that's over 20 megawatts of capacity, and we only have 26 trucks. So we've got more capacity than we have trucks, and we want to see trucks coming in. And so that's why we're announcing today that uh, we'll be purchasing, or not just purchasing, but getting delivery of another 180 trucks by the end of this year. So another 53 immediately with Volvo, uh, and then another 100 so that by the end of this year we'll have a total fleet size of over 180 vehicles and that'll be covering you know, most of the sites that we have today between the four sites in uh, LA area. But also beyond that, I mean, we've got you know, another dozen sites in the pipeline covering the entire West Coast, going from the border in San Diego up to Seattle, Washington. That'll be online by the next year, uh, next two, several years actually. And lastly, I wanna do the same thing that Tesla did and put out the challenge to the other manufacturers. As you know, we're huge on, on MCS charging. We've been a very huge advocate of it from day one. We know that that is the necessary step to go from middle mile and drayage to long haul freight, and we need to reduce the dwell time. Wadivi is prepared to place another order for a thousand trucks, 
but we need to see MCS capable trucks within the 2026 time frame. So again, it takes many uh, partners to do this. It's not just, you know, one man takes all, but we need to see the effort from the manufacturers to put out MCS capable trucks. Thank you guys.